Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Nightmare Edition. We have some Protoss research to get. Isn't that exciting? Now, we have a couple different options here for the Protoss research. First of all, Ultra Capacitors is, um, well, it's just kind of broken. It's 5% attack speed per infantry, or per upgrade you have for that unit type, which was uh, too much. So it has been changed. Now it is giving all, or it gives uh, all barracks units except the Marines and Medics gain the Stimpak ability, which is basically it just means that Marauders and Firebats can actually keep up. Especially the Firebat has a really hard time in the later game, so being able to actually at least be in the front of the army with Stimpak is pretty good. However, there's also Vanadium plating which is typically 5% increased HP per armor upgrade. It is increased to 7.5%, however, it only applies to units that are upgraded on the armory. So we're going to grab that. Uh, previously, we, well, I guess the initial value was 10%, and 10% just seemed a bit too high. So we're kind of playing around with different numbers to figure out what the sweet spot is, because vanadium at 5% wasn't good enough, Ultra Capacitors was the better damage reduction ability because you just kill the enemy faster. So we'll see. Now it is two different upgrades for two different playstyles. One thing I would like to think about is try to make them less binary. Like if you want to go for a little bit of each or flip it around, figure out ways to get that to work. However, not entirely sure for now. We're going to grab the Goliath upgrades, I think they're very good, and then we're going to get the SCV Repair upgrade, which is always incredible. And I'm not entirely sure that we need multi-build. It's $60,000, that's kind of a lot. Instead, I would like to head to a mission. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to head to the Cantina, and we're going to get a little bit more mercenary action. There we go. So then we head to the bridge, and we figure out where we are going next. I believe that we have Cutthroat, Haven, and... We're not going to the dig. <laughs> Let's head up Cutthroat. That's always a fun mission. I'm a big fan of it. So, I don't know how this mission has changed. I don't remember what I told Rhyme. If I had to just make up my own changes right now, which is probably what I initially wrote down, it would be that Orlin mines faster, sends bigger attack waves, and has more SCVs in his main base to mine. Because usually if you knock out all of his expansions, then he just, like, has one SCV at home mining, and it's really bad. So I'm just going to assume that that's what the changes are, because I don't remember. All right, all right, right boys. Let's get to work and get that adjutant back. What do I want? I'm going to get a tech lab here. I'm going to get a reactor here. And then I'm going to get a little bit of a infantry plus Goliath force, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to get a couple Goliaths just to start with because they're pretty good. Clear out this area, and then we're going to have to figure out exactly what is going on. We're going to have vultures, which is going to be nice. So maybe we do want to have... Actually, we might switch these. What if I go, like, vulture marauder? That might be a decent composition. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of air on this mission, so that feels kind of reasonable to me. Why not? We're living and learning. So we go Marauder Online. We go... That's not Vulture. That's not... Oh, I can't build Vultures yet, of course. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out where the Vulture button is. Uh, there we go. And we're just going to take these bad boys down. And grab some of the money. Now, there's a bunch of mines over there. Generally, I think the first attack wave comes from that direction almost always. And now we can realize that the vulture is unhockeyed. I've been having so many hockey issues recently. 
Uh, uh, Mass Recall really, really messed up a bunch of stuff. Uh, that goes on like V. Sure, why not? And this can go on G for good game. There we go. All right, let's give this a go. So everything costs even supply, which means that I want to have an odd number of workers here. And the vultures are going to be real good at just tearing through the enemy. I love the vulture. I think it's one of the best units in the campaign. I'm looking forward to get some good use out of it. Spider mines, always powerful, especially in these higher difficulty mods where the attack waves just can be real, real scary, you know? Having access to that power level is really nice. Oh, look at that. It's an elite guy. Devil dog. Okay. So we're going to just mine this area off as well. How much anti-air do I have? I have one marine and one goliath, which actually isn't that much. I am going to... Wow, look at how fast Orlin is. It's the four minute mark and he's almost halfway there. Oh my... Well, we took out that base. That's really good. We're going to take out this production facility, grab the Protoss Relic while we are here. And we get that first upgrade for the Vulture. Uh, I don't remember what the other upgrade is, but I'm sure that it's worth having. I think it's something to... Oh, uh, rebuild spider mines. And they're not that... Ex I don't know. I don't think the other upgrade is very good. Because you could just buy more Vultures. Yeah, it's like... Rebuild spider mines for 20 minerals a piece or something like that. It's kind of expensive. First attack wave got a little bit melted by the mines and then was finished off by me. And then I'm going to get a bunker here. I don't know if it's going to come up. However, I always feel a little bit uncomfortable on this mission just because of how you have to be out on the map very, very quickly. So I just want to have something here that I can rally some troops into if things start going south. Plus we have the strike turret on it, which means I can actually do a lot on its own. Let's uh, get another thing of mines down there. I have mines on rapid fire and it makes their use so much easier. If you don't have rapid fire set up for spider mines, they're not very good because of how much attention it takes, but... When you can just draw pictures while holding down one button to lay them, hmm, it's just wonderful. I think that I'm going to chill now. I'm going to build maybe one more bunker. And... Okay, the time for chilling is not quite yet. I'm going to get my mercenaries. But I'm done producing out of everything else. And I didn't really get upgrades, so good thing that I got that vanadium plating for this mission, huh? We actually are going to need it for later, but I might wait until we get Mira's mercenaries, because I don't want to spend too much money at this point. Why aren't there SCVs here? Huh. What? <laughs> okay. We can deal with that. No problem. Get these guys on over here and take out these workers. And start mining. Yeah, Orland's mineral income has been really, really drastically reduced. There definitely is not a whole lot of time to be working on it on Nightmare. But it seems like we're in fine position now. So now we just have to go grab as much as we can. I'm going to pay a little bit of attention to how much he's getting. It's not that much. Well, let's put a couple spider mines down here. Just... A little bit everywhere, and then go war pigs. I did not mean to get those hammer securities, however, er, I did mean the hammers, I didn't mean the goliaths. Then we're gonna put defenses here, defenses here, and defenses here. You know what? Let's build. Mm, no, we don't need the turrets, that'd be a little too much. <laughs> it's like, how can I lose to Orland at this point? Just keep building random things. I'm actually losing a lot of my forces here. There's a, a lot more enemies on the map than normal. And firebats actually do some significant damage to vultures if I run them into them. Which is probably a personal problem. You shouldn't be having issues with that. I'm going to bring the Spartan Company. Oh gosh. Okay, Marauders. Good thing the vultures are basically free. 75 minerals a pop. 
All in all, I kind of like that composition, though. It seems like it is very cheap, easy to get out, and has some real solid anti-ground punching power. It was just kind of a thing that I thought of, and I wanted to play around with. Definitely happy with the results. We're going to send this guy down to the... There's these little automated plants that just constantly remake scrap. So we're going to head over and try to grab them. And then we're going to get Mira's Mercenaries. And then we're probably going to have to macro for a bit after that. Oh, hello. Uh, well, there goes my entire army. I have Vulture left over. That's really, really bad. I do have these loaded bunkers. They could theoretically be what I need to get back into the game. The spider mines are going to be a lifesaver here. We're absolutely going to be able to crush through these. Try and just pull them over. Interesting that Orlin doesn't have or use stim here. That's different. Because a lot of the other infantry have been using stim. By what? I don't see anything. A lot of the other infantry has been using stim. Ooh. Oh. Mira's base doesn't have minerals or gas. Oh, that's actually huge. Uh-oh. Okay, so what do we do? We only have one command center here. Hmm. How the heck? Maybe I don't want to fight through that base then. Oh, look. <laughs> this has been moved a little up, hasn't it? That means that it's not cheesable, I believe. All right, cool. Ryan definitely figured out some of the problematic aspects of this mission and fixed them, which is leaving me in a not so great position. Why are they? Oh, it's uh, because Mira didn't have the 50 HP upgrade on the time back and I do. Yeah, that happens in the normal game too, I remember. It's one of those things it's easy to kind of forget about, but. Ooh. Here comes a little attack wave. I'm thinking about what sort of composition I want here. I don't think it wants infantry units, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try grabbing this barracks and just sending it over there so I can get a little bird's eye view of what's going on. I think that would be nice to have. And then I'm going to get another command center. That way I can mine from this base and this base at the same time. And then once I've scouted them, I can clear this area to get some more money and maybe make some informed decisions about what I want to do in the future. So could a siege breaker from the low ground? Um, so if it's right there, I don't think so. This looks like one of those things where Rhyme exactly measured it out and it just doesn't reach with a siege tank. So I'm not even going to waste my breath on it. We're going to have to bust normally. Let's start making diamondbacks, I guess. We have two siege tanks, which are pretty strong. We cannot make any more, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's evacuate this area. Get on the tech lab. Get on the tech lab. I'm not sure how many Goliaths we need, so these tech labs are kind of not that useful. In fact, my upgrades are... I'm not in a great position, am I? Like, I have the stuff, but there's not a whole lot of money on this map, and things go south real, real quick. Interesting. Very interesting. We're going to pop up here and try taking out this barracks and that kind of stuff. I want this base to be secure. Oh, gosh. Okay, if we micro a little bit, we might be able to... Yes! No! Cool. And I'm hearing mineral field depleted, so we're going to have to abandon that base pretty soon. Swing these over. I really like the feeling of just being rewarded for going out on the map. It's not like they build a whole lot of stuff over here. It's just a couple fire bats, maybe a medic. 
it's not going to end your game, but you really do feel like you are being useful when you're walking around and it's just, I got it. We clean that up, we clean that up. We're just swatting him down. The AI is actually building like a real person should. It feels a little bit more realistic, which I think is very neat. I really like it. I was not sure if it was going to be a good mechanic when we were talking about it, but now that I've gotten to play with it a little bit, absolutely feels great. Wow, phrasing, Grant. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> let's just let's just pretend I never said anything like that. Oh my. Um, how do we transition here? That's not good. I think we only lost like one or two. Then we repair, repair. I don't know if these guys are going to be enough on their own. I guess we could pop these out. Pop these out. Sell, sell. And that'll be the defense over here. We're going to get a gas geyser and a gas geyser. And then we have two bases mining as we can make a little bit more. Now there's a couple ways that I could do this. I could either slow push using the siege tanks to try to help draw enemies out and then eliminate, or I could do a moving shot style and try to get the Diamondbacks and the Hellions in. I think that because these are not just regular siege tanks, but are siege breakers, the elite ones that do infinity bajillion damage per shot, I'm going to opt towards the slow and steady style. It just feels right. And then if things start going well, that's when I could go, okay, now it's time for that big old lurch forward. Ooh, they got a raven in that attack wave. We're gonna move this bad boy up here. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, those are so strong. I will clear the low ground though and try to see if I can siege him from there. Because obviously, if I can hit from the low ground, that is the number one thing to do. Do I not have guys on gas? I do. Because we can get a couple of these over here. I'm going to keep these bunkers up. However, I'm going to move this horse forward and try to start clearing things out. That is Concussive Shell being great right there. Being able to stop the enemies from connecting at all. Love it. Careful, careful. And then we finish all this off. Oh no, there's uh, multiple siege tanks up there. Hmm. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's a little bit scary. So I probably need a couple, a couple scouting barracks. Oh gosh, they're sieging. Pull back, pull back. Their tank will have to unsiege, and then we can walk forward and kill it. Very nice. Now we've gotten to this high ground, we've secured it. There's a whole lot of money up here. And I'm just gonna wait until I'm maxed, basically. I don't feel comfortable going up there. I don't know how much there is, and I don't wanna learn. I didn't know the Goliaths had turret tracking. Sorry, that's one of those things that doesn't matter, but they like point towards their target before they fire, which is, is actually really useful. Makes you do damage faster. Can you uncloak again? Thank you. So I guess we'll patrol these around. We got the gas incoming. Just a Goliath. And at this point, we should return back here. And I'm going to send my first barracks over to scout. We're going to max out very soon. Yeah, so like, if you watch this, the Goliath has, it looks like it's about a 180 degree radius, which is very interesting. Most other units with turret tracking, such as the Siege Tank, have a full 360 degree. It's very interesting seeing that that is about 180, so once you hit attack, it'll instantly start attacking the thing it's looking at. No rotation required, which doesn't sound like much, but it's actually pretty big. But it only does it for the things in front. I really like design decisions like that. It's a way to balance a unit without 
doing huge amounts of like statistical changes, right? And I'm always a fan of that. It just feels a little bit more elegant to me to be like, oh, you can turn 180 degrees instead of 360 instead of, oh, we're going to reduce your damage by 12 or whatever. That'd be a pretty big nerf. Hmm. I actually... Uh, I am concerned. What? Oh, gosh. Wraiths. Uh, do I have... I do. I do. Oh, <laughs> uh, crap, 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 crap. Let's get turret over here. Uh, I don't have many minerals left either. This is a pretty big loss. Okay, I don't need this engineering bay. And the map is almost out of minerals, which probably means I don't need all these turrets. But I might need them in the final fight. Am I going to have to proxy turrets? Oh, no. Okay, we got to figure something out. Let's start heading this direction. I'm going to give this a save because I like the position. Bring the barracks on over. Nah, I don't... I just don't like that low ground. Let's get the tanks forward. Oh, the SCVs are pushing their way through, which can be a little bit annoying, but having auto repairs is really good. So it's a tough little compromise there. We're going to siege these up. Bring the barracks for high ground spotting. And then start poking the enemies and bringing them down, but protecting our tanks with everything we have. Here they come. Be very careful. And then I have an idea. Yeah, so here comes the new. Wait, two of them? Whoa! Uh, pull back. Pull. Whoa! Oh, uh, <laughs> pull back. Pull everything back. Oh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a lot of nukes. Yeah, they're cloaked. So that's going to fall. Did he cancel his nuke? Huh. The AI just did a really smart thing and made sure to like not nuke themselves if there wasn't a target there. I'm not crazy, right? That's what they did? Because if so, that's insane. That is such a level of commitment to good AI. I don't want to say it's pointlessly good, but that's really fascinating to me. I'm going to get a turret over here. Just so I can make sure I have detection. Oh, that tank is eking forward. Yeah, there's two of them now. So we got to take these down and then siege these guys up. See if we can take down all their low ground defenders. Two missiles heading this way. Those guys are dead. Now, where's the barracks? Barracks is going to head up. Four. Three starports. With tech reactors. Good thing that Orland doesn't know what a fusion core is. He just has a wraith above me again. Oh gosh, this guy's stuck. No! Save him! This is really, really, really bad. We're not actually going to send these guys into the fight. We have bigger duties for him. <laughs> bigger duties. What a silly phrase. Once again, good thing that Orland isn't the smartest. He's not targeting down this SCV. Take the raids out. We're going to send the Diamondbacks on a little hit run to take out this final starport. Move this guy forward so he's soaking the shots. It's burning. Good, good. And then we have a lot of gas income. I'm going to have this guy on patrol here. Here. And here. And that guy tried, but he, I think he died. We got to go grab this gas over here. Just keep producing for a bit. Don't kill him before he picks up the gas. Yay, thank you. And then we got to move the tanks. Let's get a couple more SCVs for repairing. It does look like he has a barracks and some factories up there that are producing. Either that or we just started pulling their troops. Our SCVs are under attack. Oh no. That was bad. 
So where are the defenders? Here's some. Let them come on back. Take down this Spartan. And then we gotta grab the SCVs to give it a nice patch-up job. Perfect. Hmm. I want to get vision of this bunker, but I don't think that I can do it super safely. We'll see. We're going to eke a little bit forward. <laughs> uh, so if you shift Q... Ooh, that guy's going to nuke. Well, he had aspirations to nuke. Ooh. Okay, this is good. Those are just Goliaths. Finish off the bunker. Pull the bunker guys over. Nice. Are you not patrolling? Oh, I have to. I'm a fool. And then I put them in my control group. Alright. We are almost there. Oh, they killed my barracks. Good thing I have a sparracks. Oh gosh, they're just building up a huge tank count over there. Maybe it's time for the Diamondbacks to do their thing. Just be the hit squad. Oh my gosh, there's four tanks and big seeker missile energy. Whatever, dive it. Kill it. It doesn't have that much HP. We have a lot of army. We actually... Even after all of that, we still wouldn't have won that fight straight up. Oh my goodness. They had a lot of defenses up there. Oh, well, that's how Cutthroat normally one of the easiest missions in StarCraft, in my opinion. But my goodness, Colonel Orlin, who knows how to macro, and taking the minerals away from Mira's base, that's actually a really, really big change that completely makes this mission a ton harder because her base usually is stacked. It's got way more than $6,000 in it that you pay. But instead, it's maybe... It'd be really interesting if someone could, like, pop into the editor and count how many minerals she has versus the rest of the map that you mine. Because I wouldn't be surprised if it were about the same amount. All right. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I mined 14,715 minerals with SCVs, and I'm very proud of it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.